Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Ebony. All right, you guys, we have several topics to discuss in this video. The first topic being none other than the rapper Sweetie performing virtually at this year's Super Bowl via Roblox. Now you guys remember I did do a video a couple of days ago where I told you guys that Sweetie was teasing working with the Super Bowl. Now it does seem that she will be performing virtually through the game Roblox and she does have her own segment. Go ahead and check out this clip. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Sweetie, and thank you so much for being my backup dancers for the Roblox Super Bowl show. So as you guys see, Sweetie is booked and busy as she should be. And you guys remember, we were wondering what this was because Sweetie did say she was up to something with the Super Bowl. So congratulations to Sweetie. Keep winning, sis. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next topic, which is none other than the beautiful Chloe Bailey showing a tribute to Aaliyah by singing One in a Million. But people are saying that Chloe not only ruined the song, but she was doing just too much. Check it out. Now look you guys, people jumped into the comments with their opinions about Chloe Bailey's performance, one user saying this. I love her, but no, if you're gonna do Aaliyah, make sure you have the background with her picture and make it about Aaliyah. She was a legend. Y'all love to pick Chloe apart, and for what? She's an amazing singer, and honestly, one of the most talented new girls. Give it up, she's here to stay. While she sounds good, and she is a very good singer, don't think she should have done Aaliyah's song. She's a little too over the top and extra with it. It's it's giving showgirl and Aaliyah well she was a down-to-earth type of girl I think someone with her swag would have nailed it better in my opinion y'all ain't even hear the whole performance y'all be so quick to tear down somebody nope that's all Aaliyah is rolling around in her grave no tell her to stop please should have left that to somebody else y'all some real haters in these comments this would have been better for someone with a voice like Summer Walker or Queen Nyjah to be honest now look all y'all are haters and I'm gonna say it how I feel all of y'all are haters y'all are haters Chloe can't even breathe without y'all saying she's doing too much. But let's be very clear. Who did y'all do this to? Y'all did it to Beyonce. Do you remember all the scrutiny that Beyonce got? Beyonce's too over the top. Why is she singing this song like this? Why is Beyonce dancing like this? But now she's one of the greatest entertainers of all time. One of the greatest singers, if not the best singer of all time. So this is what I'm going to say. Everybody was loving Chloe when she wasn't popping, popping. When Chloe wasn't out here looking like a whole million dollars with the banging body and the snap face everybody was loving chloe then but when chloe started experimenting with the wigs she changed the color in them locks she started looking like a whole dinner meal now all y'all is mad and upset who cares then you guys are blaming her for not having Aaliyah's picture in the background this is not chloe's show chloe was literally asked to perform so how is it chloe's fault that the stage present wasn't right or that something didn't fit everybody's narrative i'm just so tired of this tearing down chloe and every single time people tear her down I'm gonna be on here defending her because she is that girl and y'all need to leave her alone. It's the same thing y'all do to Normani. Leave Normani and Chloe alone, period. Like y'all are so hateful towards these girls and I don't understand why. Why do people hate Chloe so much? She ain't even did nothing. Y'all, I know I'm off on a tangent. But I don't like that they're coming for Chloe for no reason. Chloe is that B-I-T-C-H, period. Y'all some haters, period. All right, you guys, let's go on to the final topic, which is none other than Joe Budden having some interesting words about Beyonce and also accusing the beehive of not streaming renaissance Chell, check it out how tough it was for us Drake fans to go get low for a few months <laughs> if you don't you could just ask the Beyonce fans right now <laughs> <laughs> maybe y'all don't see when the fans when the fans collectively <laughs> go high go to hide. <laughs> Go get low, but I do. One of the best in the world, we can't pop our Cause y'all telling us it's some mid at every turn. Every week niggas asking you, yo, you heard something black like, as I haven't. <laughs> like a stab in the heart, I wanted to rewind and stab a hat on for these niggas. I wanted to throw on take care headlines, Marvin throw anything, guys. 
but y'all had y'all months. Now, as you guys see, Joe Budden had some very interesting comments, but Joe Budden, that's not true. I actually bump Renaissance still, and I'm still listening to Renaissance, and I plan on still listening to Renaissance, right? You know, Joe Budden likes to say one or two things controversial in his month to get his show trending, and what not a better way than to use the queen of music, Beyonce. I don't think that any of the Beehive um, is not streaming her music. All right, you guys, so the final topic is none other than Lotto getting found online after people realized that she actually tattooed 21 Savage's real name on the back of her ear. And people are calling her out, one, because 21 Savage said, I don't have a celebrity girlfriend, and two, because 21 Savage is married. Now, this is alleged, but you guys know I always come with the receipts. And I do have some receipts and some photos to prove that he is married. And I also have 21 Savage in an interview admitting he's married. Yikes! Talk Go out on a slot over type of low energy is this? Dating a married man with kids? Yikes! Talk about a mess. Let's get into it. So, as you guys see on the screen, the shade room showed a tattoo. Now, the tattoo says Shea, something of that nature, and they actually spelled out 21 Savage's real name. You can see that the letters actually match his real name. So, people are putting two and two together that Lotto indeed is possibly dating 21 Savage. So, let's talk about the whole marriage situation. Well, a couple of years ago, there were some photos that surfaced of a woman that goes by Kiana. I'm not going to show her Instagram here because she's not famous and I don't want to get her, you know, dragged or people to be over there sending her harassment, but I will show like part of the picture with her face blocked. Now, if you guys look here, I also have several photos, one of her in a wedding dress. I also have them celebrating a party. As you see, I have 21 Savage with their two kids, allegedly. Now, people People are saying, well, just because, you know, there's this rumor that he's married doesn't mean that he's married to her. Well, let's stop. I actually pulled up a business that she opened. It was an LLC. As you guys know, when you open an LLC, you are required by law to put your full legal name. So she wouldn't have used his last name if she wasn't married. Now, the name of the business goes by Nukes Chatterbox, and it was registered in October of 2019. As you guys see, it does have the address, and the name is Kiana. Anna Abram Joseph. Now let's go ahead and pull up what 21 Savage's real name is. Shea Ben Abraham Joseph. So you have his last name, Abraham Joseph, also attached to this woman, Kiana Joseph. Okay. And it says Kiana Abraham Joseph. Also, I have a video interview that 21 Savage did when he broke up with Amber Rose. The interesting part about this interview is that 21 Savage himself says verbatim, I'm married. Check this out. Oh, yeah. So what you doing with, uh, hold up, I'm just going to No, you miss Amber Rose, bro. Do I miss her? Yeah. <laughs> nah, <I have> <laughs> you ain't never made no song about it. We want no songs about her. On I ain't made no song about him. I'm, I'm happily in love, you know. Oh, now? I got a family. I'm good. You yeah, in love? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't really tell you all that, bitch. <laughs> Why not? Come on, bitch. <laughs> that nigga crazy, <laughs> man. <bro. laughs> <laughs> you can't let him know everything. Facts. They got, oh, so they you got, happily in love? Yeah, hell yeah. That's some good energy, pal. Yeah, yeah, I'm happily in love. <laughs> I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. Child, talk about us. So you have 21 Savage admitting that he is married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. But you out here mixing and dishing and paying people's bills and dealing with scratch-offs? Did she get the kids something for Christmas? Yikes. <laughs> And I honestly think, you guys, all jokes aside, this is why Lotto is not coming out publicly because she knows she's going to get scrutiny for dating a man who's still married with children involved. Now, I don't know if they have an open relationship. I don't know if both of them did it for citizenship reasons. But like I said, you guys saw that photo of them celebrating a birthday. They looked like they was a happy little family. Imagine getting a married man's name tatted on your neck. What did Nikki say? <laughs> Nikki says, scrap, scrap your neck. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about these topics down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And as always, we'll talk very, very soon. Bye, guys.